The last speaker before we move on to the ceremony is our very great friend and president of the Stop the War Coalition, iconic figure of radical thought and social justice in Britain and all around the world. Please welcome Tony Benn. Comrades, I've been here many occasions on August the 6th, and this is a big occasion, and a lot of people of different ages, uh, 106, that's not a bad start, and some younger people as well, and what we're doing is remembering and learning from one of the greatest war crimes in history, which was the decision to drop atomic weapons on Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of the Second World War. I remember the day very well. I was uh, at the time in the service and I heard the announcement and uh, studied what it meant. And later I met one of the men who had been on the plane that dropped the bomb. And uh, I was a student at the time and he said to us all, whatever you do is a complete waste of time unless you get this problem resolved. And that made a very deep impression on me. And later I went to Hiroshima and I met the survivors of the bomb who were suffering still terrible illnesses of radiation sickness and so on. And uh, then later still went to one of the peace demonstrations in Hiroshima. And in the middle of the demonstration, they all shouted out water because on that day there was no water and water was what they remembered they needed most. And this is the challenge that every one of us faces. Uh, nuclear weapons have played no role in any post-war war. They haven't helped us to win any war since uh, Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki. And even then, as Kate pointed out, the Japanese were negotiating a surrender before the bomb was dropped. So it wasn't that the bomb ended the war at all. They haven't been any use to us. We can't afford them, we don't need them, and I don't really know we have them because I think we are in Britain dependent upon the American nuclear technology. And uh, what we're saying today is we want to stop them. We want to cancel them. When I read that we're spending millions of uh, pounds on new generation of nuclear weapons, I think, where's the money coming from? And we know where it's coming from. It's coming from the cuts in benefits in Britain, the cuts in pensions, the sacking of people, the cancellation of the Remploy factory. It's to finance this new hideous war crime, which is still part of the central policy of the country in which we live. And we have the vote. We have the power to stop it. And we are gathered here to say that is what we should do. Because uh, North Korea, has got nuclear weapons, Pakistan's got them, India's got them, Israel has them, Iran could develop them, although there's no proof that that is the case, but it's being used as an excuse for a new world war against Iran. And we have to stand up for common sense and decency and truth, and if we do that, I believe we can win support from the people of this country, because they sense what most of us understand, that this is the greatest threat the human race and it is a human problem because weapons have to be used, they have to be controlled and they're controlled by people, people we elect and are responsible to us for what they do and that is what we are about and I believe it's a very very important to gather here today in uh, near the statue of Mr. Gandhi, one of the greatest advocates of non-violence in history and a great victor of uh, uh, for that policy, that's what we're about. We're to rededicate ourselves again to the idea that the human race owes itself the responsibility to see there is no more war, no more nuclear war, no more nuclear weapons. So thank you for coming. I'm inspired every year when I come. I'm inspired again today. And I think wherever this message gets across, we can win support. And that is our job as members of the human race. So I wish you all success, peace in our time, peace for the human race, progress for all. That is what we are about. Thank you very much. Yeah.